Hi everyone, it's your boy Ricky here for Honeybee Stamps. I hope you're doing well today. Today we're going to be making a holiday card using some florals and some uh, reds and some blacks. Kind of, I guess, non-traditional because I, I don't believe black is usually seen as a Christmas color, but that's fine. Um, we're here to make uh, Christmas cards that we think others would appreciate and sometimes those are non-traditional colors. So before we get down to the desk to take a look about what we're going to be using today, I have a few things to ask of you. First, subscribe to this channel. If you haven't subscribed, you're missing out on a bunch of different artists and all of their lovely creations. Secondly, click that bell so that you know a new video is coming out from Honeybee Stamps. Third, leave a comment down below. We love to chat with our followers. And last, share this link with someone that you think might really enjoy this video. Also, give this video a thumbs up because why not? Anyway, let's get down to the desk to take a look at the things we're going to be using today. Alrighty, so we are going to be using the October freebie that came with uh, this latest uh, release. Um, it came with the matching die. We are also going to be using the snowflakes embossing folder. We're going to be using the winter watercolor stamps and coordinating dies. We're going to be using some foam strips, some white and black cardstock, the Misty. We're going to be using some greens and some reds. These happen to be from Concord and Ninth. And we're also going to be using the Honeybee Creative Clear embossing ink. And we're also going to be using the metallic ink. So let me get the desk ready for the first step in making this card. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and run our black paper through the embossing folder, um, in the embossing folder through the die cutting machine. So I'm just going to place my paper um, down into the embossing folder. I have cut this black piece of paper to four by five and a quarter. And we're just going to run this through the die cutting machine. And once I do that, I'll come back to give you an idea of what that looks like. Okay, so we've run that through the die cutting machine and let's take a look at what our paper looks like. Alrighty, that looks perfect. I don't know if I can get capture this. In, there we go. Capture this in the light a little bit. It's black, so it's kind of hard to see, but there is some embossing. There we go. Really nice embossing. I love this embossing folder, and I also love snowflakes. So, you know, there's that too. All right, so here we go. We got this completed. All right, and then what we're gonna do is just go ahead and get this glued down to the white card base here um, because this is just gonna be flat onto uh, the card base. So we can go ahead and get this part done. There we go. All righty, we got that done. Let me get set up for the next step in the process. Okay, so next we are going to go ahead and do the stamping and we're just gonna place all of these stamps. Ooh, that looks bright. <laughs> Onto the paper here. Um, as you can tell, I have used these stamps already, but that's gonna be okay. That's all right, that's okay. All right, so then we're just gonna pay, start placing the greenery on here as well. We're gonna pretty much use all of these on the card. We're just gonna find some spots for them. Hopefully we can get them to all fit. I did before, so. We just wanna make sure everybody's spaced apart so when we go to use the dies, we all fit together. This looks good. Alrighty. So the reds, we're going to make the poinsettias. I guess that's what this is. It says florals, but I assume it's like a poinsettia. We're going to use the Concord and Ninth Cranberry. And we're just going to get these guys nice and inked up. Whee! noise from my desk. We need to get this 
it'll be fine because we're going to be making that with green but you know why have it there if we don't need it all right so we're just gonna stamp that out and we'll just stamp it out again making sure that we're pressing really good next time Ink pad's really sticky for some reason. I think I might need to add more ink to it. Let's see. All right, perfect. That looks good. Okay, and then the next colors. Actually, you know what? I might want to... Let's see if we can switch these two. Because they're both, yeah, there we go. Um, let's move this guy in a little more. There we go. Because <clears throat> on this next color, we are gonna be using gold. So might as well just have them close together. Although, let me, you know what? I don't need these guys anymore. So we're just gonna take these off. So then I don't have to worry about that getting on my gold ink pad. And this will have to stamp a couple times because the gold on the white, sometimes it doesn't stick right away. So we just need to do a few layers to get the, the gold built up on the stamp set. Let's just do one more time. All right. There we go. We'll take these guys off. We'll clean them later. Don't worry. All right. And for the next ones, these guys. Here, I want to be the darker green. Almost perfect. Let's see here. Those look great. Mm. Let's redo this guy. We'll just do re both of them. Redo both of them. There we go. Perfect. And then we are going to use parsley for these last two, which is just a lighter green. Hopefully that red doesn't show up too much because <laughs> it's going to be brown if it does. Oh, perfect. Did not show up. And then let's just stamp him out one more time. There we go. Perfect. All right, so we got that done. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna clean up the stamps and then I'll be back to show you what the next step is. Okay, so up next, we are gonna go ahead and do our sentiment and this is where we're gonna be using the freebie. So we're gonna be using Christmas and then the word wishes. We're just going to take our Misty, go ahead and pick up that stamp. And then we want to use our embossing, antiseptic embossing powder 
baggy thingy here so that the embossing powder does not stick to the paper. And let's go ahead and stamp that out. Okay, that looks good. Let's set this to the side. And let's pour our powder on here. We're just gonna use white embossing powder on black cardstock. I know you guys are probably bored of me doing that, but that's just what I go to. It's what I like. All right, that looks perfect. What I'm gonna do is I am going to heat emboss this and go ahead and get this cut out and die cut out, and then we'll come back with the next step. Okay, so we got the sentiments cut out. Um, I'd use the die for this and then just cut this into a sentiment strip. So we have that done. And now we need to cut out the flowers. So we're just gonna place these down onto the flowers. And we'll tape them down. I have a bunch of used tape here already. I just try to use it until it's no longer usable. So what we'll do is we will just go ahead and get all of these placed down onto the um, printed um, or the stamps here, the stamped images, and we will run that through the die cutting machine. And once I do that, I'll be back to show you guys what they look like. Okay, so we got all of our flowers cut out and our greenery and all that good stuff. So now it's time to kind of start putting this together. Um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and pull in our card panel here. And I think how I'm gonna go with this is kind of like that. Maybe set that one there. kind of do that situation we'll put a gold one here maybe another gold one here let's put a pine here and maybe like a pine here I think I like this kind of situation. So what, I'm gonna end up putting all this on foam tape, but first we need to get these guys like all glued down. So let me go ahead and get some honeybee glue here. And I'm, I kind of want everything to stay the way it is. So I'm just gonna lift up and kind of glue. things down this way because I'm ridiculous and kind of lazy and don't want to have to pick everything back up again. There we go. All right, so we'll let that sit for a second and let that dry. Then we're going to put foam tape on the back of this. I love me some foam tape. right there and then I think I'm gonna stick this guy about right there but we need a little bit of foam tape behind behind that flower let's see I wanted to have this like this I think about like right here yeah I think that looks good there so let's go ahead and remove this Okay, and then last, 
all we have left to do is the sentiment. So we're gonna use these super thin foam pieces from um, Honeybee Stamps. I love these pieces because they're super thin and add dimension without it being like ridiculous. You know, because we already put a pretty regular sized or thickness foam tape on here, so we don't wanna bulk it up too much. All right. I want the Christmas somewhere around there, and then the wishes here. Let me make sure that this is nice and straight. Okay, that looks good. Looks good. All right, you guys, this is the uh, finished completed card. I love it because just being on this black background, just everything pops. It looks really nice. And while the top colors are pretty traditional, the black with the snowflakes, um, you know, that's not very traditional, but I think it just makes everything really pop. I think it looks great. And then also I'll show you forward facing too, so you can see it that way. Just beautiful. I love that. So I wanna thank you guys so much for being here and watching me today. I truly appreciate it. I hope you learned something new watching this video. If you did, leave a comment down below and let me know what that new item was. Uh, go ahead and also thumbs up this video if you really liked it. Subscribe to this channel, click the notifications so that you know a new video is out and then share the love. If you think someone would really like this video, send that out to them. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. All the products I use will be linked down in the description below. And until next time, I hope you guys have a great week. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.